four, what? Over chapter nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, there will be three chapter for this module four. Okay, and then again your assignments will reflect that chapters also. Chapter nine, ten, eleven. Chapter 9 is about joint and movement. <coughs> Chapter 10 is muscle tissue. Chapter 11 is muscular system. So they are kind of related. Right? They kind of related together. Okay. Now, Chapter 9, joint. What this girl doing? He said, girl, girl kayaking. <laughs> it's showing us that in order to do this kayaking, the girl has to move, right? to move or make a movement. That movement is created by bone and muscle. Right? Bone to bone will create the joint and muscle will move that bones through the uh, joint. Now, joint. Another name for joint is articulation or arthrosis. Dylan, what is the name of the other under the name of joint? What is another name? There are two other names for joint. What is the first one? Articulation. What is the what is the other one? Arthrosis. Eh? So another name for joint is articulation. Eh? Articulation or arthrosis. This is the scientific name. Arthrosis is scientific name. Joint articulation is American name. Get it? Uh, so joint articulation or arthrosis. What is this? It is point of contact between two bones. Sometimes we also put between cartilage <laughs> and bone or between teeth and a bone, basically between two hard substances in our body, which is bones or teeth. You get this one? So point of contact between two bones. That's the definition for the joint. Study of joint is called the arthrology, and the study of movement is called the kinesiology. If you want to be kinesiologist, uh, like for example, sport doctor, you have to learn this movement. You have to learn this joint and movement. Okay, this is the typical joint that we know. Most of the us will think that joint is the one that make us move. Actually, it is not because some joint, okay, with contact bone and bone, is actually we cannot move them. Okay, but most of us usually know joint as the one that we can move. Therefore, in many textbooks, when they talk about joint, they give you the picture uh, of joint that give movement, which is called the synovial joint. So this is one example of type of joint. It's called the synovial joint that actually give movement, freely movable joint. Uh, this is the characteristic of synovial joint. Uh, of course, joint is the point of contact between bone and bone. Uh, the bone that make contact is called the articulating bone. The bone that make articulation, right? That's not a difficult name, articulating bone, right? But in the exam, uh, you have to know the name of the bone when I say, for example, okay, let's say this joint over here, eh, the elbow joint. Then you have to know the first articulating bone will be humerus. The second articulating bone will be with the radius or ulna. You get this one? Okay. Right now, you just know this is articulating bone, this is articulating bone. But actually, they have name eh, on the specific uh, location of joint. This synovial joint, it is called synovial joint because it has cavity over here. Cavity. That cavity is called a synovial cavity. Okay, synovial cavity. 
and it's that cavity containing the fluid. It's called the synovial fluid. Now, what is the function of the synovial fluid? There are two functions. First, reduce the friction. Yeah, just like oil in your engine, in your car engine, is reduce friction. Okay, in the machine. Yeah, the second function, this synovial fluid give the food for this. So the food or nutrient or nutrition that goes to this place over here is actually carried or <coughs> provided by synovial fluid. This is the only place in our body that the nutrient is actually not carried by the blood. Remember blood carry nutrients, right? To all your cell, to all your tissue, except here. Eh, the nutrient to this part of the bone, and this part of the bone is the articular cartilage, eh, is actually carried by who? Carried by the synovial fluid, given by the synovial fluid, not by the blood. You get one? This is one exception of nutrients that is actually provided by the synovial fluid, not by the blood. Are you with me? Eh? So it doesn't really matter whether your blood has a lot of nutrients or not. If you don't have enough nutrient in the synovial fluid, then your articular cartilage will be worn out, will be solidified, will be calcified, will be heart will die. Eh? What happens if your articular cartilage die? Then your movement will be very limited. Just like old people, eh? they actually produce less synovial fluid. Are you with me? So when they have less synovial fluid, what happens with their cartilage? Die. What happens if it is die? They very difficult to move. Are you with me? When they move, ah, ah, okay? Sometimes they have to, you know, some people, they have injection sometimes. They have to inject the fluid into their joint. Have you ever seen that? Or maybe some of your family, your parents <laughs> have the injection. Eh? Sometimes they have to have injection maybe every three months, every six months. If still doesn't work, what they, they have? They have the surgery. What? What type of surgery? The knee surgery. I have, so far I know two of my friends that have knee surgery. And both of them are doing great now. Before having that knee surgery, they're really difficult to work. Ah, especially they, their, their, their bathroom, a bathroom is on the, on the second floor, for example. They don't want to go out, right? I know they have that surgery, they're doing great. They even, you know, doing exercise every morning. Yeah, like that. <laughs> so easily. Before that, they cannot do it. Just for information, this knee surgery, especially in the United States, is a kind of the most successful surgery. So don't be afraid if your friend or your parent, for example, needing this knee surgery, yeah, Tell them to do it because it's great result. Believe me, I see that result. Not me, but <laughs> on my friend. Okay, are you with me for this one? So what happened with that old people? What 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 do you call that abnormality? Osteoarthritis. See what? The name of the abnormality that is caused by the death of this. Articular cartilage is called the osteoarthritis. Eh? Are you me? Now, this synovial cavity have the synovial fluid. Again, synovial fluid has two functions: as a lubrication and also for giving the nutrient to the uh, articular cartilage. Now, this cavity is protected by capsule. That capsule is called articular capsule. <coughs> Get it? And that articular capsule actually have two layers, double layer. Yeah? The outer layer is very hard. This is actually fiber. It's a ligament. Right? And this is called the fibrous capsule or membrane. It is hard. Okay? The second layer is a little bit softer. 
it is inside and this layer is called the synovial membrane this layer is the one that produce the synovial fluid you, you see the connection okay make sure you memorize this okay? synovial membrane produce what synovial fluid what is the synovial fluid function lubrication and carry nutrients for the articular cartilage okay you see that connection yeah you see that function okay so this is again the general drawing or type of uh, synovial joint and again mostly we learn joint as a synovial joint but there are other type of joint get it all right now next do you have question for this one I hope this is clear. Again, make sure you understand this one. This is not that difficult. Yeah? Make sure that you know the connection. If you have it right now, you don't have to study again actually for the exam. Because it's in here. It's in your brain. What? You get one? As you should be. Believe me, you don't have to study again if already in your uh, brain. Next. Join can be classified into two different things first remember our class is anatomy and physiology get it therefore this joint can be classified based on anatomy based on structure and also based on physiology based on their functions okay based on structure is mean that how it look like what is made of right is divided into three types the first one is called the fibrous joint. The name is telling you the bone and the bone between two bones is connected by fiber. It's just like you're stitching, you know, it's stitched by fiber. So that fiber actually stitched two bones together. Therefore, the joint is called a fibrous joint made of fibers. Get it? That's not that difficult, I get the name. Now, the second one, cartilaginous joint. It means that bone, bone, and there is cartilage between them. Yeah? So cartilage connect these two bones. Therefore, the type is called cartilaginous joint. Not that difficult, again. Okay. What's the third type? This is the one that we just discuss on the previous uh, screen eh? it's called the synovial joint this is the typical joint that we have which is it has synovial cavity with the synovial fluid with the capsule and etc <laughs> okay that's the synovial joint the structure like that eh? that based on structure do you have question for this? No? Continue. <laughs> no, based on physiology, based on their function. Most of the joint function is for movement, right? Therefore, the classification of function is actually based on the movement. Based on movement. First, there is a joint that is called sin arthrosis. Sin arthrosis. It means that this joint actually immovable. This is connect bone to bone, and it actually hold the bone together, and it make the bone just stay, cannot move. Eh? Many bones in your head, for example, is connected by this function, sin arthrosis. It connected, therefore you have the shape of this like a, you know, like a balloon or like a ball. <laughs> because the, that bone is connected with the uh, joint that make them immovable. It's called the sin arthrosis. There are some joints that actually can move very slight. So slightly movable joint. And this one is called the MV. MV arthrosis. MV mean actually mean two pole. Two. So it's kind of a little bit movement. Eh? Maybe just one direction eh? and then the third one 
This is the, again the joint that we all know, which is the joint that give us the free movement. Uh, it's called the diarthrosis, which is freely movable joint. Are you with me? Now, this is just for general connection. Yeah, this is for general connection. The fibrous joint, fibrous joint, eh, most of them, not all of them, remember, most of them are sin arthrosis. What does that mean? Most of the fibrous joint, they are immovable. So if they are connected by fiber, mostly they will be immovable. Okay? That's the general rule. Most of the cartilaginous joint will be MP arthrosis. I said mostly, not all. Okay? So majority of cartil cartilaginous joint will be MP arthrosis. Slightly movable joint. We're gonna see the example right now. Okay? And the last one. This is the one that I will say all. All synovial joint will be diarthrosis. Freely movable joint. Again, this is the usually the type of the, the joint that everybody know. All people believe that joint eh, as the one that movable. Eh? They actually only talking about synovial joint, which are diarthrosis. They do not really understand about the other type of joint over there. You, you and me? Yeah. But okay, because they don't take our class. <laughs> if they take our class, this class, then they will know. Oh, there are actually joints that are immovable. I don't know that. No, you know. Yeah? No, you know. Okay, right. fibrous joint. Again, it is connected by fibers. Yeah? There are three types. There are three types of fibrous joint. First, the joint in your skull. You know, your skull, how many bones in our skull? 22, it was in the exam. Again, I mentioned to you, remember the number of the bones in part of your body. There are still some students that miss that. <laughs> how many bones in the skull? 22. Most of them is connected by fibrous joint, it's called the sutures. Ah, sorry, I don't know to, <laughs> to say it correctly. Suture, suture. Ah, that, that's maybe that one's it, okay? Except, ah, except there is one skull bone that actually have the synovial joint, freely movable joint, diarthrosis, which is this, your mandible. What? That's the only, the only skull joint, ah, skull joint. Skull bone that <coughs> do not have suture on it. Get it? Even your nose over here, you have you have two nose, right? It's connected by suture. You have this maxilla. It's connected by suture. Uh, if they are con if they this bone does not connect it or do not connect it, they have what we call the cleft palate. Right? right? Remember that's we have it like that. Right? Uh, now that's suture. Uh, the second one, and suture, they are immovable. They are, all of them, sin arthrosis. The second type is called the syndesmosis. Uh, syndesmosis. This is only located in only two places in our body, which is between radius ulna, there is a hole, right? Radius ulna, long space, and what's it called this, two bone? Tibia fibula. There is also long space between them. What? That space is actually connected by a tendon, by a fiber connected tissue. And that connection is called syndesmosis. And this syndesmosis gives a little bit movement, slightly movable. Eh? You can move a little bit. Eh? Can. There is a movement a little bit. Eh? That's syndesmosis. And the last one for this fibrous joint is called gomphosis. This is the joint between teeth and the jaws. Upper jaws and lower jaw. How many teeth do you have on the upper jaw? 
16. How many in the lower jaw? What how many total? 32, right? You got this one. Each of these tooth will be connected to this jaw using what? Fiber. Eh? Therefore, it's fibers join. Eh? They actually have a socket in your jaws that use for the teeth. Okay? Now, the question is, this teeth connection to the jaw, it is movable, immovable, or slightly <laughs> movable? <laughs> it has to be, it has to be what? If it is normal, if it is healthy, it has to be? Are you sure your teeth movable? Try to, the teeth, not the jaw. We are not talking about the jaw, we're talking about the teeth. Do your teeth moving in the socket or not? No, if it is moving, you have problem. You have problem, what? Right? You might lose your teeth. Yeah, you might lose your teeth, you get it? So this gomphosis is sin arthrosis, immovable. Yeah? Again, if it is movable, go to the dentist. You have problem, okay? So that's the third type of the fibrous joint. That's the reason why I said before that most of the fibrous joint, they are sin arthrosis. There are some that is MV arthrosis. Yeah. Again, this is the same thing showing us the three different types the suture, the syndesmosis, the gomphosis. Yeah. Try to memorize it. Okay. Try to memorize the name. There will be a lot uh, in the uh, question. Now, the sutures. Uh, this is the one that located in our scalp. Okay. Basically, we have four type of suture. Four type of suture. Right? First, this one over here. Look at this, right? This suture look like a crown. Crown. Right? Which is between which bone? Now you have to memorize the name of the bone and the name of the suture. Right now. Right? What do you call this bone? Frontal. What do you call this bone? Parietal. Between frontal and parietal, there is a this suture. Like a crown. Crown means corona. Corona is mean crown. Okay? Crown. Therefore, that suture name will be coronal suture. Get it? That's first. Right. Coronal suture. Next, look at here. What do you call this bone? Two bone, left and right. Parietal. Right. Right. And between these two bone, left and right parietal, right. you also have suture over here. Sagittal. sagittal. You still remember sagittal plane? Yeah. Yeah. So that's sagittal suture. <coughs> Look at this. Parietal <coughs> and occipital. There is another suture over here. It's called the lamboidal. Right. Lamboidal suture. Yeah. Yeah. And okay, the last one is over here actually. You see this one between parietal and the uh, temporal. The name of the suture is squamous suture. Okay, squamous suture. Yeah, again, it is in your assignment. You should be able to fill out that assignment right away. Okay, four type of suture again: coronal, sagittal, lamboidal, squamous. Ah, this is, oh, this is, we have that name now. <laughs> eh? Coronal suture, squamous, lamboidal or lambdoid, and we don't see the sagittal on the top. Okay? All of them, sin arthrosis. What does sin arthrosis mean? No movement. No movement. <laughs> Immovable. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> eh? Try to, you know, memorize within the scientific name. Oh, this is synatrosis. Then you know, what does synatrosis mean? Immovable. Right? Synatrosis. Immovable. Ah, this is just showing us baby, baby skull. Okay? When they born, they still actually have soft spot. <coughs> it's called the fontanelle, right? So, if you have baby, okay? 
I used, I used to have baby. <laughs> and yes, when I touch his head, there are some spots that really, really soft. Well, we don't want to squeeze it. <laughs> if you squeeze it, they might have problem. <laughs> hey, now, the second one is called the syndesmosis, which is we only have two places. What is this? Between radius ulna and between, what is the other one? Tibia and fibula. Right. Know the name of the bone. Right. Now, what type of movement gonna be? What type of movement? Sin arthrosis, MV arthrosis, or diarthrosis? MV arthrosis. So make sure you say it in scientific name. MV arthrosis. Slightly movable. Yeah, we have that over there. MV arthrosis. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the last one. This is the gum process. Uh, between the tooth and the bone of our jaw, there is a socket with fibers that connect them, and this is called the gomphosis. This is synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, or diarthrosis. Synarthrosis. Synarthrosis. I will not tell you what is synarthrosis. You have <laughs> it has to be in your brain right now. Syn means cannot move. Just remember, if you have a lot of syn, <laughs> if you have a lot of sin, you cannot move until you repent. Oh God, forgive me. Then you can move. Okay? <laughs> so that's maybe the easiest way to remember. If you have sin, you are immovable. Yeah? Sin arthrosis. This is the second type. Okay? What is the second type? The joint that made of what? Cartilage. Eh, cartilaginous joint. This cartilaginous joint consists of two types. Eh, if it is made of highline cartilage, that joint is called the synchondrosis. Eh, synchondrosis. Example, last time we talked about the epiphyseal growth plate. When you are still under 21 for female, or under 25 or of male, you still have that plate made of what? Highline cartilage. This is actually synchondrosis. It is movable or. Uh, no, I will not ask in using American word. This is synarthrosis, amphiarthrosis, or diarthrosis. This is syn, not move. Right? Another example right? between this bone. What do you call this bone? Sternum. What do you call this all bone over here? Ribs or costae, right? Costae. They actually have highland cartilage between them. Right? And this is sin chondrosis. What type of movement? Sin arthrosis, amphiarthrosis, diarthrosis. Sin arthrosis. They actually cannot move. They hold together. Right? There is no movement. Also, cyphoid process. This is also highland cartilage. There is also Sin chondrosis over here, right? Are you, you need? Right, next. Also in in your nose actually, what? You have highland cartilage connected to this bone. Right? That's also sin chondrosis. Can you move your nose? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> because this is sin chondrosis, which is sin arthrosis. Okay. I'm using the, the scientific name now. Make sure you, you get it. This is synchondrosis, which is synarthrosis. Right. Now, look at this one. This is the second type of cartilaginous joint, which is, is connected by the hardest cartilage. What do you call the hardest cartilage? What is the hardest cartilage called? Remember, we have three cartilage, highline, elastic, and fibro. What is the hardest one? Fibro, the fibro cartilage. Eh? So if it is connected by fibro cartilage, that joint is called symphysis. Symphysis. Eh? Example is between vertebrae. How many vertebrae do we have? 26. Eh, 26. Don't forget that. 26. Between that vertebrae, there is a vertebral disc. And that vertebral disc made of fibro cartilage. That make the joint, and that joint is called the symphysis. Can we move our vertebrae? 
little bit, yeah, slightly. Therefore, symphysis is MP arthrosis. MP arthrosis. Over here, right? Slightly movable. MP arthrosis. Another place for the syndesmosis is between our coxa, between the hip bone. There is a place of connection in our pubic area. Therefore, this joint is called the pubic symphysis. You guess what? And also it will give slight movement, especially for the woman. Yeah? Woman can actually have a little bit more movement in this area, especially when they deliver the baby. Huh? When they deliver the baby, that pubic area will be wider. Okay. Okay, this is comparing the, what do you call this? If it is highland cartilage, what do you call that? Cartilage joint type? Sin? <laughs> Sin contrasis. Eh? Sin contrasis. If it is fibrocartilage like this, it's called symphysis. Eh? Sin contrasis, symphysis. I know, it's, 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 it's difficult, but you get it little by little. I will say it many times. Now, how about this? Sin chondrosis or symphysis? This is symphysis because what? Fibrocartilage. Yeah? Made of fibrocartilage. This is sin arthrosis, FV arthrosis, or diarthrosis? Nah, this is MV arthrosis, slightly movable joint. Okay. <laughs> Ah, the last one. This is the last type of joint. It has synovial cavity, therefore it's called a synovial joint. And this is all of them. All of them die arthrosis. All of them die arthrosis. What does die arthrosis mean? Freely movable joint. Ah, again, we already learned this uh, structure. Right? So we have articular cartilage that reduces friction, absorbs the shock. Articular capsule that surrounding the joint, synovial membrane, the, the inner lining of capsule. Put another another function for this synovial membrane, which is producing the synovial fluid. Okay. So put it over here, produce synovial fluid. Synovial membrane produce synovial fluid. When we get older, we have less production. Therefore, most of the old people, they have the osteoarthritis. Okay. Hey, this is example of synovial joint. This is in the hip. So you have coxa. You have what is the name of the bone? The what is the name of this bone? Femur, right? So you have coxa and femur. And femur have the head. You have that. <laughs> within the hand of the femur, and the coxa have the socket. The socket is called the acetabulum. Eh? So it have ball and socket. So this is a type of ball and socket joint, which is a type of synovial joint. There are six. Eh? There are six types of synovial joints. <coughs> One of them is here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna write it down so you can remember the name of the synovial joint, eh? the type of synovial joint. Two, three, four, five, six. Eh? There are six types. Eh? The first one is called, let's say, pivot joint. Pivot joint. The second one, let's say, uh, planner or plane joint. Uh, next one, let's say, saddle joint. Okay. There is hinge joint. Eh? And there is a hinge, 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 condyloid joint. And the last one is that one over there, which is ball and socket joint. 
right? So these are the six type of sinus field joint. Okay, next. We already, again, this is over and over. We already learned this structure, right? And this is an example of the knee joint. Right? There is additional structure in this knee joint because we need support for the knee joint. Right? So there is a meniscus. Right? Meniscus is like a bone. Right? That's a plate of bone that actually will fill the area that is empty. So meniscus. There is also bursa right? on that. Area bursa is actually uh, uh, like a socket, socket or uh, what you call this uh, pocket, right? filled with fluid. So there is a fluid uh, on that bursa. Sometimes this bursa get infection by bacteria. Anybody know what is the name of the disease when the bursa have infection? Infection usually in scientific words called the itis. Bursitis, right? That's bursitis. You know, you have laryngitis, laryngitis, and bursitis over here. If there is an infection of bacteria in this one, yeah. So that's that's the <laughs> knee joint. It has additional again structure. It's called the meniscus and many bursa. It's called bursae if there is more than one. Yeah. No. Again, why? I don't care. We actually have this. Okay? How many types of sinovial joint? One, two, three, four. Yeah, six over there, right? The first one is fifth joint. So actually start from the top over here. There is a fifth joint between our dens, uh, our second vertebrae. What is the name of the second vertebrae? What is the name of the second vertebrae? Axis. Axis. With the first vertebrae. What is the name of the first vertebrae? Uh, atlas. Eh? Axis, oh sorry, atlas, axis. Axis has projection, it's called dense. It's going here. Okay? Going to the atlas. Are you with me? You feel it? Oh no, you feel it. I mean, <laughs> you can see it. Okay? Now, the atlas is holding here. What, what, what is what? Our skull. No, not brain, the skull. <laughs> holding the skull, right? Now, when you have that, this is called the fifth joint, and it will actually, when your muscle over here, there is a big muscle on your neck, it's called the sternocleidomastoid muscle. See, the name is even, <laughs> even really long. Huh? When you move that muscle, contract that muscle, what happened with your head? Rotate. So give the rotation. Okay? So that fifth joint mostly give movement is called rotation. Eh, there are several types of movement. Eh, one of them is rotation. Are you with me? So that fifth joint eh, between C1 and C2. It just says C1 and C2. Atlas and axis. Got it? Uh, hinge. Ah, the second one is hinge. Example is here. On our knee. Oh, what, what is that? Elbow. Sorry, elbow. <laughs> we have the hinge. Hinge, it has a structure, one bone. It has a hook like this. And the other bone has the place for holding that hook, right? That's called the hinge joint. And hinge joint give many type of movement. Example, if we talk about our elbow over here, huh? they can move from here, let's say this is 180 degree, right? Straight line is 180 degree. When you move it to here, what happens? Reduce the angle, huh? become 90. That movement is called flexion, get it? So the movement that reduces the angle is called flexion. Which muscle performing that? Here. Bicep. Are you with me? You're going to learn this in chapter 11. Bicep. Yeah. And then another movement is we start from 90 degree and we move it to 180 degree. What you call that movement? This flexion over here. Flexion is reduce the angle. Boom. Increase the angle is extension. Extension. Which muscle actually perform that? Which muscle? Here, over here, the opposite muscle. Tricep. Bicep flex, tricep extend. 
your elbow. Right? Flexion, extension. Get it? That's example of movement in the hinge bone. I mean hinge joint. Uh, saddle. Uh, saddle in here uh, between the trapezium and the, your first metacarpal. Okay? okay, this is first metacarpal over here and there is a trapezium over here. There is a saddle joint. You can move like this, flexion, extension, uh, flexion, extension, the same. Flexion, extension. Uh, and then what next? Hinge, uh, saddle, plane. Plane joint with say, tarsal bone. Okay, this tarsal bone. Plane joint is made by a flat surface between the bone. So the one bone is flat, the other bone is flat. What? Right? They can slide one to another. That movement is called gliding. Get it? So gliding. So you have a gliding movement over here. Eh? Now, the next one is condyloid. Most of this finger over here, eh, phalanges, have a condyloid joint, eh? which is it has socket, but the socket is not that deep. What is condyloid? Uh, here over here. So it has socket a little bit, but it's not that deep as the ball and socket. Eh? So condyloid over here, let's say between this finger. What you can do? You can flex, right? This flexion. Uh, you can extend, okay? A flex, extend. Uh, you might do this one, is it? It's called the circumduction, okay? Circumduction. And the last one is called ball and socket. We only have two places for ball and socket. Over here, shoulder joint and hip joint. That's only two places for shoulder and socket. What kind of movement? This is gonna give you a lot of movement. Look at this one. This is 180 degree, right? When I move <coughs> like this, my hip, like this, what happened? Lower the angle. What do you call that movement? Flexion. Eh? When I do this, this is from don't, don't, don't worry about my knee. I'm not talking about knee. I'm talking about here, right? Hip. So when I 190 over here and put it down like this, what type of movement? Extension. 180. Can I do more? Yes. When I do like this, boom, maybe 270. That one is called the hyperextension. So you can perform hyperextensions in the hip joint. But you cannot perform it with the knee joint. Ah, this is knee. I'm sorry. What is it? Elbow, Elbow joint. Okay. Elbow only extension. Can you do hyper extension? Unless you break your knee. Ah, knee. Okay. I'm breaking. <laughs> you break your elbow, right? You, you get me, okay? And also, this can perform this. This is called the circumduction. Right? This also can perform this. Let's say this is we are in the middle, and then I'm. I actually take my leg away. Anybody know what is the name of that movement? Away from your middle line is called abduction. Abduction. This is abduction. And this is adduction. You add adduction. This is abduction. This is adduction. This is circumduction. Are you with me? Right? We're gonna learn that in the in the lab. Right? Yesterday they already learned, so today you have like you're gonna learn that movement. All right, so that's the ball and socket. That's all the six type of joint. Again, this is ball and socket, which is in the knee joint. This is actually giving us the idea what is osteoarthritis. Again, this is the normal hip, it's really shiny because what? Because they are healthy, they have food from where? Synovial fluid. What? Right? Synovial fluid gives them food, they are healthy. Right? Now, what happened here? They don't get enough food, it's broken, that. And because the synovial fluid is not producing, what happens? <coughs> that area over here become very, very short. Therefore, between bone, now it's touching. Eh? Between the hip and the head of the femur, now it's touching. When they move, it's <coughs> gonna be very painful. Eh? So that's the example of osteoarthritis. Okay, this is movement again. Flexion. <coughs> what does flexion mean? Reduce angle. Extend, uh, extension. Increase angle. Right? Hyperextension. 
increase angle over 180. Right? Uh, abduction, this is abduction, this is abduction, right? Circumduction, right? which is called movement. Right? Uh, this is rotation, okay? You rotate, rotation. Uh, what else? What else? Flexion, extension. Flexion also, you can use with your head. Flexion, extension, hyper extension. Get it? Uh, okay, now, here, on your arm over here. So when we do like this, remember, when we do like this, and I am lying down with the face down, what you call that position? Prone. When I'm laying out like this, supine. You got this one first, right? Now it's mean that this one is supine. Are you with me? This is supine. And the back over here is what? Prone. Get it? Now, when you move your hand from supine, like this, and then go to front, are you with me? That movement is called pronation. Are you with me? Pronation. Now I am in prone position, right? This, this, just look at the, my hand over here. I am in prone position. And then I want to move it to supine, then you flex like this, boom. What you call that movement? Supination or supination, eh? Supination. Supination, pronation. Supination, pronation. Again, in the lab exam, I will dance. Make sure you know. Ah, supination, pronation, supination, pronation, right? Okay, that's, okay. Are you with me? Right, that's, now, look at the foot or the feet, my feet over here, okay? I can move four different ways. First, I can move it like this, to the middle. That is called the inversion, <coughs> inside, inversion. I can move it to the lateral, out. It's called the E version. With me? I can move it, go to the, this is called the dorsal, this is plantar. Your soul is called plantar. When I move it to up, dorsal, dorsal flexion. When I move it down, plantar flexion. That's the name of the movement in your feet, in your foot. Okay. Another one is in your jaws, in the mandible. Okay. <laughs> You can also move four different ways. First, if you move it forward, uh, like that, that's called the protraction. If you move it back, like that, is retraction. Get it? Then you can also move it down, it's called depression. You can move it up, it's called elevation. Four movement in your mandible for movement in the foot. Ah, this is opposition. Okay, so there are several types of movement. Again, make sure you do understand this, especially for the lab exam. I will do it, I will dance, then you have to know the name of the movement, the name of the two bones that connect it, the name of the joint, and the name of muscle that contract to perform that movement. Okay, that's easy, right? That's easy <laughs> for me. <laughs> hey, again, this is the what we call the temporal mandibular joint between the temporal bone and mandibular mandible. Right? And again, there are four movements that we can perform with this. This is shoulder joint. What type of uh, the joint in the shoulder? Boy, socket. Good, see? Joe already have it in his brain. Now, this is, uh, what is this? Elbow, okay. Elbow. What type of joint in the elbow? Hinge. Good job. That one is feet, planter, eh? tarsal. There are a lot of planter joint over there. Uh, what is this? Hip. What type of joint? Wall and socket. Ball and socket, ball and socket. It's actually giving you or showing you the the the, 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 the fiber that connect bone to bone. Can I give you the name? Okay. Fiber that connect bone to bone. Bone to bone. Okay, fibers. 
Uh, the fiber is called ligament. Uh, so ligament is fiber that connect bone to bone. Uh, fiber that connect muscle, muscle to bone. Uh, that fiber is called tendon. Uh, that's different name. Both of them is actually connective tissue. Uh, both of them connective tissue, whether tendon or ligament. What is tendon? Muscle to bone. What is ligament? Bone to bone. Uh, so it actually make the uh, joint become stronger. Look at this. This is muscle, right? This is muscle. This is bone. Now what do you call this? Fiber. Going to be tendon. Muscle to bone. Uh, uh, there is here. Bone and another bone on the back. That's going to be ligament. Are you with me? So that's just the uh, definition or terminology for tendon and ligament. Ah, if you like soccer, like uh, Charlie, you play soccer, right? Some people sometimes they break that ligament. Mostly in this, this place over here. This ligament is really small. It can be break. It's called the tonned ligament.